Chair and distinguished guests, let me start by thanking the United States for its commitment to addressing the threat of synthetic drugs and for calling this group together. Drugs cause enormous harm across our societies, fueling crime and ruining lives on a massive scale. That is why it is so vital that we tackle the flow of illicit drugs and bring the criminals who profit from the misery they cause to justice. The United Kingdom is highly alert to the risk of synthetic drugs. We are continually monitoring trends in drug misuse and supply for new or changing threats. The United Kingdom's drug control laws provide us with a strong and flexible framework for protecting the United Kingdom against new threats as they emerge in line with our international commitments. This is a challenge shared by all countries and global effort is needed. I reaffirm today the United Kingdom's commitment to tackling synthetic drugs and to international cooperation on this issue. Our approach is underpinned by a comprehensive 10-year strategy published in December 2021 to tackle the demand for and supply of drugs. We're investing £300 million over three years to attack the drug supply chain innovatively, working closely with law enforcement partners in the United Kingdom and in countries around the world. Combating international drug and precursor chemical trafficking and securing our border are key elements of the UK's drug strategy. We support international cooperation in this area and welcome the opportunity to share insights and drive progress collectively. We assess that the risk of synthetic drugs is increasing. United Kingdom agencies are highly alert to the risk of synthetic opioids like fentanyl, as well as synthetic cannabinoids and benzodiazepines, which have been linked to drug-related deaths in the United Kingdom. We already control several fentanyl precursors, and we will be controlling three further fentanyl precursors to meet international obligations. Additionally, we have announced our intention to control 11 potent synthetic opioids. As we bear down on drug supply chains, we must also break the cycle of addiction and help people rebuild their lives. Therefore, alongside disrupting supply, we're investing an additional 780 million pounds, nearly a billion dollars over three years to build a world-class treatment and recovery system. We also aim to achieve a generational shift in the demand for drugs. We're developing and building evidence to shape our approach with the aim of putting in place a system which deters and ultimately reduces drug use in our society through swift and certain interventions and, where appropriate, diversion into the criminal justice system. Through these measures and many more, the UK is determined to turn the tide of drug misuse. This is a global issue and we greatly value our international partnership in this space. Thank you.